Welcome, welcome everybody to another Star Citizen video. Kind of, kind of, no. This is about an app called Smooth Tracking. I found it because I was trying to get more immersed in my game. I'm trying to look up new host ass. I'm looking up track IR. I'm looking at Toby. Uh, ways to get more immersed in the game. And I was really leaning towards Grass Monkey. Because Toby went from $180, I was going to buy it like a couple years ago when Star Citizen first announced their little partnership. It was like $180. I was, I was going to dive in, but I said, eh, I don't really need it just yet. The price has jumped to almost $300, and frankly, it's just not worth it. Grass Monkey was kind of more reasonable. It's kind of like Track IR. It's supposed to be... 240 hertz or something like that something so it's like precision i was gonna do that but i was like eh, that's also a little bit expensive i'm spending that much just for my host ass from vkb but i found on reddit somebody talking about open tracker and smooth tracking they said just simply use your phone and i was like wait what just your phone they're like, yeah, wirelessly. I said, yeah, that's got, that's not gonna work. I said, okay, let me go see. The app is ten bucks. I have to disclaim that right now. It does cost money. It's ten bucks to to use it. Frankly, it's maybe the ten bucks I've ever best I think I've ever spent. I can't even figure the words. It's it's it works. So I have it off right now, and I'm gonna activate it right now. And I've calibrated mine already. And the calibration was very simple. Now, granted, Star Citizen does have a tracking system inside, but it's not that good. It's not, it hasn't been messed with in a long time. But the fact is, I could use this in any game now. And it just, it's working so smooth. Here's me saying no, here's me saying yes. I mean, wireless, everybody, wireless. It's working so good. And I said, okay, let me see it with flying. And I'm over here flying and I'm sh moving around while looking. And I'm like, I can move in any direction. You can't do that when trying to use a lot of the end game. You could hold F, you could maybe use Z. You could activate, oh, Z, I forgot. Z is not gonna work because I'm using it. So let me turn it off. So here's Z. I could do this and I could still fly technically and look, but I have to use my mouse. So now I'm losing function on my ship. So that's not very helpful. The fact that I could look and go wherever I want with my ship and still look in any different direction and my ship is going wherever I'm telling it to. Besides immersion, anybody who's really into dogfighting like wants to master it and be better than the other their opponent, this is the key. This is not just about immersion. I'm, I'm dead serious. Like Having this is an advantage. It really is an advantage. Once you can master it. I'm still new to it. Now, gimbal. Okay? I could have my gimbal... Oh, did it activate? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I could look and I could still move my ship and use my gimbal and look a different way. Or, if you're really good, and this is this is not me... You have a mode where, let me put it back on, and I can, no, I don't think I put the right mode. I might have messed that up. Okay, I think I might have messed it up. But there is a mode that you can actually turn on that will let you head track and target, oh, there it is, I got it back. I can now use my head tracking and target my gun. Now, I, I don't really advise you to do this. But you can, you have that option. So I can still fly, and I could use my tracking to do that. But again, I, I, I would not advise doing that. I don't think that's the best way to use it. But you can, you got that option. But again, it's not just for flying. So I'm, let's get out of the seat. I can now do for FPS. I could look wherever I want. So let's slow walk. You know, I want to take a gander over there while walking or turning. Let me go turn this way. You know, I can move in a circle. 
look down. Like I'm, I'm, I have freedom. And just so you know, I'm not turning my head too, too much. I still have my eyes on the screen. It's not like I'm taking my eyes off the screen at any point to do any of these motions. My eyes are still looking at the screen. My eyesight might be readjusting to my head movement, but it's not bad. Here's a little FPS, like I can do the same with FPS now. Let's activate our gun. And I could look while also aiming. Let's say I hear a footstep or something, or I'm shooting at a target. You know, I'm getting in there, making sure nobody's coming. Okay, you know. Imagine on FPS combat, you can like peek. Uh, wait, I thought I heard somebody. No, no, we're good. So. You don't have to really take your target, like your crosshairs off of your target. You could keep it on the target, but still look elsewhere. Really, really neat. I mean, I absolutely am in love with this. I I did not think 10 bucks could be this good. I, I really had low expectations. Really, I did. But this is just, it's working. Now, there's even further things you can turn on another mode... I believe right here so this position this is cool let me get back to the cockpit so what this does is I have it on no right now which means the cockpit will always be at the same distance it will not change with that mode turned to yes I could look forward and backwards so let's turn that on now this might screw up the camera tad but just want to give you an idea yeah shove my head down a little but now I have full freedom to look forward and backwards I could get into that screen you know look over here I could still do that with F I can hold my F zoom in and I can now look I don't have to move my cursor and I can go okay let me look at that screen okay activate this you know it's it's nice it's just nice it's it's works so again this mode is good once you calibrate it i haven't you can really it, 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 it's so much fun it's just so much fun so let me turn that mode off and one last thing for any of you out there that loves to make videos or content this is by far my favorite part so going into third person you have freedom to look. And while holding Z, so Z, I'm going to keep my head as straight as I can. Z, I could just do this. Now watch this. I could do this. I could back up. I could look underneath. And again, you could do that without, but I mean, you can get different angles now. And it's just, it's, it's really, it, it's just so nice. It, it feels good, and if I'm not mistaken, when I was doing it in FPS, I did a little test run in third person. I gotta get a little space, okay. So, yeah, I could see, I could move in and out, and I can, I'm literally like looking around in my chair. There was a slight, you know, cause I'm moving out of the camera zone, I'm getting like so into it, but that's what I mean, like you can like, all these angles with just by looking so imagine doing a scene and you just want to slowly pan the camera or maybe tilt your head and that's another thing you can do tilting side to side I'm putting one ear to my shoulder to the other shoulder you can do that also in first person so it's really just so neat so let's hold Z and again I can get different shots let me zoom back oh let's get a little closer let's look at his facial he's smiling because he loves this program for 10 bucks it was like hey dude I spent the best ten dollars ever so <laughs> there you have it guys I am I'm just having too much fun with this so there's the there's two two pieces of software one costs you ten dollars it's the app that you're gonna get off the App Store whether it's Google Android or it's Apple with iOS. It, it just 10 bucks. What do you have to lose? You can go spend 300 on a Tobia, or I think it's 250, or maybe get lucky and get it on a sale for two. Sorry, it's 280. It's 280 dollars on sale. It's 260, 50 around there. 
I, I'm just being dead honest. I know it's better technology in the sense of what it's doing with the IR and all the eyes and the, the pure head and $250 though. $10. And it's doing pretty much what a Toby's going to do. Is it as precise as maybe a track IR or a grass monkey? Probably not. But I mean, this feels good to me. I'm not going to, I didn't have to spend hundreds. I spent 10 bucks. I mean, that's, it's not bad. So that's my video guys. Uh, like, subscribe, notification if you liked it. Leave comments below what you think. If you want to know some more, please, I love to be active with the community. I'm trying to grow the community, so if you can go out there and help me do that, let's have a little fun, guys. And add me on Star Citizen. If you're new to Star Citizen, I have videos on that as well. But I, I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, because, man, am I having so much fun with this. And I will see you and catch you on the next video.